until a point right where I remember she took my hand and then she put it around her waist. My instant thought was, wow, this girl got balls. <laughs> My name is Nicole, I'm 24 years old this year. Hi, I'm Russell, I'm 24 years old this year. We met in a club called Afterward. And we've been dating for 5 years. Hi, I'm Jolene, and I'm 19 this year. I'm JJ, and I'm 22 this year. We met at Zook. And we've been together for about 7 months. Uh, hi, I'm Hafi, I'm 23 this year. Hi, I'm Phoebe, I'm 20 this year, and we met at Zook. Uh, we've been dating for almost 2 years now. So we met on a ladies' night in Zoo. I saw her already at the dance floor, and what caught my attention was her height. I told my friend, I was like, hey, uh, that girl very tall, very pretty also. <laughs> then my friend, he approached her, and then I think he tapped her and he was telling her like, hey, my friend this, my friend that. My first impression was that he's very tall, and he was very cute. I remember he <laughs> wore like this green top, uh, rough one. Yeah, correct. Then you were wearing, the, the flannel, is it? Flannel, yes. Yes, flannel, yeah, flannel. Yeah, then she put me in, then uh, I interacted with her, so I was like, hey, what's your name? Actually, we left the club for a while, and then we talked outside, and then he asked for my Instagram outside. The last thing I said to her was, okay, uh, I will DM you. Like, the next day, I was like thinking, is he going to message me, or was I like going to be ghosted? So he replied to my IG story, which was a picture of me taking an OOTD in front of a mirror, yeah. Actually, on that day itself, when I met her, I didn't really want to go to the club. So my friend Blaine, that I usually go with, he was like, bro, this time different. This time, we're not going to club all guys. I bring six girls. It just so happens that both our friends are uh, dating. Uh. The first impression, um, she's, she wasn't exactly my type. One comment that Blaine made was that, uh, I look good beside her because like I'm 165 right but she's 150 <laughs> so she made me look tall <laughs> My first impression was that he was cute lah Yeah, that's it yeah. That's it? <laughs> yes <laughs> Okay Once we went in, we went to get a few more rounds of drinks until a point right where I remember she took my hand and then she put it around her waist Yeah My instant thought was wow this girl got balls <laughs> Like she she knows what she wants and like she she's not shy to get it. So stare, 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 then in the end we kissed. I had a mutual friend with him and their, their mutual friend was uh, the DJ at the club. And for me, I think my first impression of him was uh, I was like questioning what race is he because to me he didn't look Chinese or I'm not sure. I think he was a bit more tan at the point of time. So I was a bit intrigued by that. My first impression of her was uh, oh, she's just like any you know, normal girl because like my friend's friend. So I didn't really look much into it. Another friend, she got like really drunk. So we took her down and we we're just like waiting for a cab or waiting for her to feel like better. I think when we were looking after our friend downstairs, I really got the chance to talk to her. She changed my impression from oh, just like another friend to like maybe oh, this could be a potential friend, you know, keep in touch with. For me, yeah, definitely at the start, it's just by looks lah. I mean, we interacted on Instagram for quite a bit, then I asked for her telegram. And then through the telegram, I started to text her more and more. So I asked her out a few weeks after we started talking. And our first date was at a sushi joint. Kenki, he knew I like sushi because I said I like sashimi in particular. So as we got to talk more, um, I realized like he's very caring and he really listens to the small details about me. Uh. What uh, made me realize that I like her a lot was I found out that we had a lot of things in common also, like music or places to eat. I found myself wanting to like meet her more and more, not just because I want to go on, on a date or anything. I, I wanted to be around her because uh, I enjoy her, comp uh, her company. Then I think about one month later, then I asked her to be my girlfriend. That period just nice, there was Halloween Horror Night and she asked me whether I would go with her. Like, no. I would want to go. I want to go with no, her friends. So I just asked like everyone in general, but then X and Blaine like, um, not sure yet, not sure yet. Yeah. Then he also actually not sure yet. Then after that, then he got back to me, and then we met at Halloween, and then from there we just went out more, and then just got together. Ultimately, we decided to give it a try. 
because even though there is a potential for school up, but there is also a potential for something even better. Yeah. At the start, I was physically attracted to him, but um, as we hung out more, I got to know who he, who he is as a person, and actually he's really like. He has the looks like, and then I don't know why he's a, such a good person also. Sometimes like I'm very gloomy, very quiet, but she's just the opposite law. She's always very jovial, she's always very happy, and she brings out that side of me also. So after which, I think we still hung out as groups. We reached some point, and then like, I think he was like, oh, you want to mm-hmm. grab lunch? And then um, that mm. kick-started a lot of other one-to-ones, uh, dinner, lunch and stuff. Then um, about four to five months later, I decided to ask out properly as a date. So uh, what made me decide to date him was I, I guess I've never met anyone that was as genuine as him uh, and I, I really liked his personality and I thought that uh, both our personalities like click well together. I just felt like she was very different from like others. With her, I just feel like oh, I want to do more, I want to go for the extra step. So I don't see myself with anybody else but her when I'm like old and 80 years old. It boils down to intentions. If from the start you already tell the your partner, whoever you met in the club, that you aren't really looking for anything serious, then I don't think the club is actually the problem in this misconception. I, I would say a large majority of people go to the club not to look for a partner. In a way, ours was a special circumstance. We were both not looking. It just so happened that we went. And it just so happens that I... Uh, so luckily found someone that thinks like me. I guess for me, it's um, really on the individual. I was at the point where I really wasn't looking for anyone and she really just happened to pop into my life. There is some truth to that. I think that's why that stigma exists. You really have to examine like, who are these two people as individuals and uh, you know what, what their purpose are for tonight and stuff. None of my friends really care. They really see the personality, not like the situation. The initial reaction is always like, it's quite rare, yeah. That's quite good, yeah. But to be honest, right, when when my <laughs> parents ask me, yeah, we yeah. lied. We said we're we we met yeah, yeah, when, when my parents ask me like, hey, where you meet her? And I just say like, oh yeah, we knew I knew her through mutual friends. To get that out of the way, I think typical Asian parents, so I don't really tell them. But for my friends, I think uh, when you posted that. Uh, yeah, when I posted, a lot of them were shocked. When Blaine found out he was also sceptical, he didn't really have a very favourable opinion of her. Yeah. yeah, like I was generally very like hyped and just like, okay, let's go club, that kind. So maybe he thought like, oh, this one, like, hell one, like, cannot. The only like friend, not say comment, yeah, sort of comment was from XY. Just like, huh? You're really going out with JJ? <laughs> then I say like, we are like progressing lah. But he's a really good guy, he's not like, Playing. We don't really share like in detail how we met our partners. It's more like you know, this you you notice that this is I've been going with this girl. Then I you know we don't or really like, talk yeah. much. Or more. the parents make inferences. Yeah, parents. our parents make inferences. Actually, there were some people who were who were like warning me against uh, pursuing this further. So I guess I was also a bit concerned. So I think some of the things that I heard at the point of time was like. Uh, that he was a player and then uh, I think a lot of my friends were just wanting me to be cautious of him and like his intentions. How that changed was that I just really spent more time with him and then I saw that he was very genuine. I think firstly don't have the misconception that uh, anyone you meet in the club is bad. Uh, I think if you have that misconception already that it's like before you even begin you will fear already. Uh. Yeah, really. You really see the personality when you meet someone in the club. I say we are also like kind of best friends because I tell him a lot of stuff. I really find him uh, funny and enjoy his company a lot. If you are also proceeding like with a relationship from club, I hope that you are very sure of the person uh, before you start something. I, I, I think, think that we were friends first. Yeah, okay, we did kiss the first time we met. But we didn't like, because of the kiss, oh, then we are like physically attracted to each other only. Like, it's because of the emotional connection also. Like, I didn't expect anything from this also. But you chose to confide in me, even though you don't have to. The most important um, thing, not only for relationships from a club, but any relationship is communication. Like, you have to communicate what is... 
what are you doing? What's your intention? I think that you should give it like give it a chance. Like don't ever close yourself off to opportunities because you might never know when you might meet the right person or meet someone who just fits you so well. You really, 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 really have any arguments because you always understand me in all situations. And you're really there for me, like no matter through my ups and my downs. No matter how many hours it takes to to listen to me and hear what I have to say about certain things, like you would do that, and I don't think everyone would do that. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye. bye.